Hello everybody, I hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm back to tell you about all these books I would like to reread before the end of the year. Can I do it? I don't know, <laughs> but I hope so. So the first book on my list is my all-time favorite book, which is The Secret History. I haven't read this book in two years, I think, and wow. I have read this book only once in my life. I was so shook when I read it. It automatically became my all-time favorite book. It, I didn't think about it, like it was, I love this book, yes, this is my awesome read book now. I just haven't reread it yet because I think I'm scared to see if I will still love it as much as I loved it this the first time and if I don't, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, I'm scared but at the same time, I'm so sure I'm going to love it even more. I just have to give it a try, I guess. <laughs> my second book is Six of Crows. I haven't read this book since the year uh, Crooked Kingdom came out. Was it 2016? I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom nearly back to back, so it's been a long, long time. <laughs> I have such fond memories like of my time reading this book. I remember just having such a good time, loving it, falling in love with all the characters, and I just, I just want to experience that again. And I love them so much, and I really want like to read six of crows so i can reread Crooked kingdom so i can read king of scars because nikolai yes <laughs> so yeah i have to reread six of crows hopefully it happened before the end of the year then i have another one of my autumn read books which is vicious also read this book in 2016 it's been a long time honestly and I remember really struggling with the first half of the book. I think it took me two weeks to read the first half and then suddenly I read the second half in one day. Like, I don't know what happened, but I fell in love with this book. So suddenly I already loved the way it was written. I think it took me some time to just commit to the book. And once I did, it was so good. And <laughs> I'm really scared for the intro. Like I've heard not so great things about it. I'm really scared. But I know that if I want to read Vengeful, I have to read Vicious before because I don't remember all the tiny details. I remember most of it, but not everything. So I have to reread Vicious so I can read Vengeful and I'm scared. Next is an entire series and it's the Percy Jackson series. I can't remember like the exact title, but you know which series I'm talking about. Oof, I reread this series maybe in 2014 yeah i think no 2013 something like that like obviously the last book in the other series wasn't out yet but i remember like binge reading the person jackson series because i had already reread this series so many times i remember that but since then i've reread the first book twice and the second book once it was last year but then i stopped i'm just so emotional about this series <sighs> And I really want to reread it, so it has to happen. But I think it would be better if I read it during the summer, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> Next is A Huge Baby, one I've read several times already, and it's Le Miserable. I love, love, love this book. I pretty much love like all the movie adaptations I saw, but yeah, I have such fond memories of this book. I think it's like the book that made me fall in love with reading classics, and wow. It was such, such, such a good one. I read it for the first time when I was 12. I remember like so clearly reading it for the first time. I just want to reread it because I miss all the characters. <laughs> Next is the Anchor Games. Like not the entire series, but at least the first book. Because we're getting a prequel and that's so exciting. And it's been such a long time since I read the series. I think I binge read the trilogy a few months before the first movie came out and i haven't reread it since then i think i reread the third book like maybe twice something like that but not the first two books so i should probably do it i'm pretty excited to see if i still love it <laughs> who knows but really excited next is another classic i absolutely love a classic i've reread so many times like if you could see my french version 
this book it's dying and this book is Anna Karenina I have such a special connection with this book honestly like I read it for the first time when I was in high school and I don't know I just just fell in love with it like I can't really explain it but I remember bringing the book everywhere with me like just rereading my favorite moments and everything and this time I want to reread it in English because I've heard the translation like the English translation is better than the French one so Excited. Next is A Game of Thrones. I've read this book twice already, like the first and the second book I've read them twice and since the series ended I've just been craving a reread so I shall do that. Next on my list is Ashes in the Snow which I think used to be called between Shades of Grey, something like that, I can't remember because they changed the title too much, the movie title, and I read it back in November 2014 I think such a long time ago but I absolutely loved it I fell in love with it but yeah with the movie I'm just like so excited to watch it but I just want to reread the book before I do that so let's do it I guess <laughs> next on my list is Making Faces which is a book I read for the first time in 2015 I think it's one of the very first new adult books I read and I really liked it so I want to see if I still love it now. Next is If I Was Your Girl, which is one of the very first book I read that was on Voices for the Trans Rep. I think I read it in two days. Really, really, really liked it. And I remember I gave it five stars and then I changed it to 4.5 or something like that. And I want to see if right now I would read it like 4.5 or just full on five stars. And like the first time I read it, I read it on my Kindle, but it was super cheap on Amazon a few days ago, so I got the art bag. I absolutely love the cover. The girl on the cover is a trans girl, and I think that's absolutely amazing, so so excited. Then we have my second all-time favorite book, which is I'll Give You the Sun. Honestly, I just want to read this book because I'm missing the characters. I'm missing the story and the words. I don't want to read this book to see if I still love it, because I know, I know I still love this book. I want to reread it just so I can experience it all over again because I loved, loved this book. <laughs> Next is Franny and Zori. Ooh, this one. I know a lot of people love The Catcher in the Rye, but my favorite Jenny Salinger book is Franny and Zori. It's also one of my all-time favorite books. I don't know how to tell you how much this book impacted me when I first read it. I read it because I really loved the movie Carrie Pilbe. It's one of my favorite movies, probably my favorite movie with Brooklyn. And the main character, she loves, loves this book. So I was intrigued and I read it. It's typically not the type of book that is for everybody, but the way I could connect to the characters made me just fall in love with it, so I just want to reread it. I know it's like not a book for everybody, I, I really know that. It's weird at times and it's really atmospheric and if you're not in the right mood it can be boring, but I loved it so much. Like I've been meaning to reread it since like I was done reading it. It's how much I loved it. Next is Emergency Contact, which was one of my favorite books of last year. Oh, I love Penny and Sam. <laughs> I love them so much. And I don't know, I just want to reread it, like just so I can be back with these characters and back with the story. I loved it so much. Next is Running with Lions. <sighs> I love this book so much. Like it's not even one of my favorites, but <sighs> this book made me so happy. I wanted to reread it just to feel this happy again. It was so soft. I loved, loved the characters. It was just absolutely adorable. I read it for the first time last year on my Kindle, but my friend Cav very gifted me the paperback. I'm so happy about it and I just want to reread it so I can like annotate everything. I'm just so, so excited and so happy to own this book. Then I have I Was Born For This. I read this book, I think like a month before it came out last year. I had not and I read it in a day. And I think like for this time, I just want to read it slowly. I like to really take my time to fully appreciate this book, even though I gave it five stars because it was amazing. Yeah, I just want to take my time with this book and be back with all my little babies. I love, love like, Jimmy and Lester and Angel. 
And next on my list is a book <laughs> I've only read for the first time this year, but I love it so much. And if you haven't guessed yet, this book is The Priory of the Orange Tree. It's my favorite book of the year so far. I'm pretty sure it's going to stay my favorite book of the year. I just have so much love for all these characters and I know it's really, really, really intimidating, but it's so worth it. Like, <laughs> such a good book i love it so much i've been meaning to reread it since i finished it when i started it i just couldn't stop reading i read it in five days i i love this book so much i want to be back in this world i want to be back with these characters i just love them so much <laughs> so that's it these are all the books i would like to reread before the end of the year that's a challenge i know but <laughs> maybe i can do it maybe i can't i guess we'll see <laughs> please tell me in the comments the books you would like to reread before the end of the year or just like in general the books you want to reread and i would love to know if the books you want to reread are some of my favorites or some i didn't like <laughs> or some that also are on my list let me know but that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up that would make me really happy if you're not subscribed yet maybe you can of course only if you want and if you want to be notified for whenever i post a new video click on the little bell but like i said this is the end of this video so i hope you will have an amazing rest of your day please remember that you're loved and i will see you in another video bye <laughs>